Coming from the rear now is Fancy Philly. Fancy Philly takes them on. A race of changes. We've had three leaders in the space of 500 metres, and down the back they travel. Fancy Philly in front. Now Reject's about to take Fancy Philly on. Great actors moving up about three and four deep. Put the brakes on again, and once lost the rider. This one lost the rider. Could have been Cromedy Bay into the back. Bobby Skelton crashed into the back. A bit of trouble there past the 1600. And now Great Actor goes to the lead in a ridiculous race. Great Actor's in front and they're walking again now. There's the riderless one, Cromedy Bay on the outside, but Great Actor's the leader. They've absolutely dawdled, appear to remember now second, Reject third. 200 metres ago, Fancy Filler was in front, running about sixth now, Kinzan in the centre. They're followed then by Woking, Reefing and Pulling, Dejour, Mio, Scruples on the inside for My Dulcinera. Martian Sun's last of all on the outside, but he's no more than eight lengths from the lead. Running up past the abattoirs now and appear to remember on the inside the leader. It's been a farcical race. Perlek moved up second. Two lengths away third reject and great actor then Kinzan. Fancy Philly next on the inside and they're followed by Fiery Diamond hooked out three deep. Working between runners over on the inside. Scruples, My Dulcinera, Tejour Mio and Martian Sun. Thundering down to the 800 metre mark and appear to remember him moving around the riderless one. Cromedy Bay appear to remember Cromedy Bay might cause some problems on the turn. Getting up on the inside was great actor. Perlek looks to be dropping out. Reject going around them, followed then by Fancy Philly, Kinzan. Scruples looking for a run on the inside as they wheel around the bend. The riderless one running in front of a pier to remember. Great actor went through on the inside as they straighten and go to the 400 metre mark. And the leader was a pier to remember the outside. Cromedy Bay without the rider is still less running a true course, fortunately. Great actor coming into it, followed by Reject and getting through on the inside. Scruples. They're stretched across the track, 250 metres left to go. Reject on the outside, ranging up the riderless horse, taking him off the track. Reject on the outside, getting to the lead. My Dulcinera is flying through too with scruples on the rails. They're right across the track. Reject on the outside, going better, and Reject is going to score. Reject wins. Scruples probably got second from Woking. My Dulcinera, Kinzan. What a race. Then Fancy Philly followed home by Tejour Mio. Great actor, appear to remember, weakened. Well back in the field then was Perlek, followed by Martian Sun and Fiery Diamond. What a race, Ron. Full of drama, Clem, uh, made uh, all the more interesting by that riderless horse being there, but congratulations uh, for your call, capturing all the life and excitement of that uh, very thrilling uh, finish, particularly with Reject coming down the outside, Clem. That was a wonderful call to pick it up. Well, it was a strange race, Ron. I mean, after 500 metres, we'd had four, four different leaders, and I think that's what caused Cromedy Bay to spill, because... He's clipped the heels of one in front because they just put the brakes bang straight exactly. on. Exactly, and you could see him dip uh, mm. in the field before he have actually uh, spilt uh, Bobby Skelton. What a terrible time Bobby's having. Did you notice if Bob's OK? Yes, he was up leaning on the rail. Oh, good. Number five, Reject, ridden by Chris Barrett, is first. Had to do it hard, led. He was one of the four leaders early. Got back a bit, and then he had the... The riderless horse. coming out, taking him yes, out wider. the riderless horse was... Uh, while not uh, causing direct interference, was certainly a worry uh, to the riders of those horses up front. Uh, for a moment or two, it appeared that Scruples was going to get through on the inside and go to the lead. Well, Scruples has run second, Ron. Number three, Scruples, ridden by Gary King, is second. And third is number six, Woking, ridden by Kay Forrester. But it was a farcical race in the early and middle stages. Yes, you couldn't understand why, uh, in, a, in a race for stayers, that they wanted to slow up so much. And, It'll be um, you know, this is why uh, Reject has won the race, because he is a tough stayer, and his rider, young Chris Barrett, at least had the initiative to take him up to the front and clap the pace on. And there he is now on the outside of uh, Cromedy Bay without the rider scruples, got a rails run. Woking and my Dulcinera were threading their way through too. Be interesting to watch the split screen a bit later. The rideless one's pretty close to uh, Chris Barrett on Reject, but Chris yes, won't probably, give him... Probably hampering him a little bit there, but look at Barrett getting everything out of, um, of Reject. The horse is trying. Chris is getting the most out of him and he's won it clearly. The interim dividends reject 435 and 155. Number three, Scruples, 180. And six, Woking, $1.80. The Quadrilla, $715.45. And the Daily Double, $30.75. $30.75. Now here's the, the four. We'll see now, Cromedy Bay's got the yellow cap running about one, two, three, four, about sixth. You can just see Cromedy Bay on the outside and Bob Skelton in bother there. They stopped to a walk and Bob uh, just rolled off the side and fortunately he's not seriously hurt. Now so I did see him get up and, uh, and uh, walk over to the running rail and lean on it in a rather uh, dejected manner. Now the, here's the head on and you can see the rightless one's trying to get out and he is too. He's coming out on top of a pier to remember. 
appear to remember gets chopped right off. Right. Gets a bump and reject comes up on the outside. Luckily, it's kept a pretty straight course, but he wants to veer out now. Yes, but fortunately, uh, reject was going strongly enough not to be really inconvenienced. Mm. But but if uh, Scruples had come home just a little bit harder, he would have uh, won the race. Chris Barrett had a look there for Strider 2-2. Two, two. Yes, he could see I the horse coming out at him. And here they are again. The riderless one, of course, no control at all, just free wheeling it down the straight. Reject, he's working overtime, Chris Barrett, on the outside, and Gary King has a look across. You can see he needs to do just a little bit more. Scruples trying hard, but just can't pick up Reject. He went to the line strongly, trained by Tom Brom Bromfield, and it's a good win pretty deep on the track. Dittman straightens Albany Bay, who goes in. Top class galloper Albany Bay. Reappearing, Fair Paint will be the last to come in. Uh, Fair Paint goes in. Ready now. Set. Racing. In the slot jump quickly down near the inside. Bending over was well away too. Showing speed was Greenwich Pike on the flat side. Harry White selected to go to the outside on Fair Paint. He's going to come down on his own out there. As they settle down and go to the 800 metre mark and bending over on the inside, sharing the lead with Greenwich Pike, Ramify up running third. They're followed then just behind them over on the inside by In The Slot who can't lead today. They're followed then wider on the track uh, by a hand painted who's making a bit of a burst towards the leading pack with Rhythmic Rogue. Prince buys well back on the flat side and coming down the outside is Fair Paint. Onto the course, proper 400 to go. Greenwich Pike getting the better of bending over. Ramify moving up three deep. They're followed then by Rhythmic Rogue on the outside in the slot. Back behind them with Wise Call. And down the outside, Fair Paint. He's in at two. At the 200 metre mark, they're right across the track. Ramify grabbed the lead from Greenwich Pike in the slot and the clear running on strongly. Here's Prince Pye darting in. Prince Pye's going to beat them all and Cindy Harbour rattling home. Prince Pye grabbed the lead. Cindy Harbour grabbing Prince Pye. Didn't get there. And the plunge landed. Prince Pye beat Cindy Harbour. Tight for third, the right across the track there. Fair paint, King Vanity in the photo with Ramify. They're followed then by In The Slot. Back behind them, bending over, then Rhythmic Rogue, followed home by Advert. Then Rublas, never in it from Greenwich Pike, hand-painted well back in the field with Wise Call, Proud Sapphire. Nuclear Dream, one of the last to pull up with Albany Bay and Folk Velt. 57.5, so they've, they've really scampered, Des. Certainly have. Judge's call for the camera. Yes, Prince Pie's got the money. Just by a short half head from Cindy Harbour and possibly uh, King Vanity might have got third ahead of uh, a bunch of horses with fair paint on the outside, Ramify right over on the rail and in the slot but uh, probably uh, Prince Spy from Cindy Harbour and it'll be a further photo probably but I had a feeling that King Vanity might have got third but it was a heck of a race and uh, Harry decided to come down on the outside which was a little bit strange because he had no help out there but uh, it ran a big race but uh, Prince Spy, you called him in the race back a bit, fair he way fair back, way and back. he ran on strongly. Yep. And uh, he's always given the impression that one day he'd do some good, and that's it. That was today was the day, and they didn't forget to back him. Well, apparently he was given a chance in the new market, and they elected to miss that and run today. It was a good lead. Well, he'd only been here at Flemington for a week, and I knew little about him except that he looked new, mm -hmm. and that's the way you'd need a horse for a five furlong race, and it's a good training feat. Here's back the finish. The one on the outside is fair paint on his Pat Malone. Number four, Prince Spy officially first after the photo. Second, number five, Cindy Harbour, ridden by B. White. And the judge has called for another photo for third as we watch the replay. I think it might have been King Vanity, but anyway, right. there's Prince Spy getting to the lead from uh, Cindy, Cindy Harbour, Harbour in a minute. And that's Van King Vanity in the chi uh, apricot colours, just passing those other, I reckon it got third in here. Right. To develop, yeah. I think, 